Hi, welcome back. I'm Brian Era, and today we are playing Mutation. And I know I've already played this on stream once and I really enjoyed it. It was so good. But recently I read the unfortunate news that the Gute Fabrik who made this game um, have to cease all works at the moment because of some struggles and it just made me really sad because I really really like this game. I haven't played their second game yet um, but I really like the style. I, I played the demo of it if you remember um, and uh, it was called the Sea Salt Chronicles. I just really like the style and feel that they had in their games and it, it just really saddened me that they are not going to be working on anything in the near future. Um, hopefully things will improve, but as you know, the gaming industry is very volatile at the moment. It always has been, but it seems to be worse um, since the pandemic. And um, yeah, it's just affecting so many people. So I thought we could play through Mutation again and have a series of it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I don't have a series of it on YouTube, but um, I really enjoyed streaming this at the time and I really loved the story. And it's been lo long enough time ago that I don't fully recall everything, so I'm really looking forward to diving back into it. And I hope you will join me on this journey. New game. Call me when you get there, okay? Mom! Look, you've got to allow me to worry. It's part of my job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Stay away from the kitchen, okay? I want to come back to a nice, not burned down house. <laughs> I have all those frozen meals you made. <laughs> They're labeled by the day of the week. <laughs> when did you get so grown up? I love you. I love you too, Mom. Aw, oh, cute. Dearest Gaia and Kai, it's time. You cannot allow this rift between you to linger. He's dying. A terrible thing to do alone. Please come. Much love, Mori. Mori's Mori? Or Milton's Milton's? What's well, there you got there? Just a letter. Oh, the music is loud. They could wear out if you keep reading it so much. <laughs> the sea ain't a place for letters, girly. Mm. My name's Kai. <laughs> it's a place for adventures. And you're about to have one of the rarest of them all. Full of mutants and monsters and terrible things. <laughs> You shouldn't talk like that. I can talk how I like, little lady. <laughs> Those mutants and monsters are known to me. But no counting on how they'll take to a stranger. You're the first outsider to visit in nigh on 20 years. Mm. You need a nickname. Something to make you seem nice and friendly to the natives. <laughs> uh. Uh, I don't like nicknames. Sea crumb. Nice and cutesy. <laughs> Change the subject. <laughs> the sea is very relaxing. I might, you know, head out on deck and listen to it for a while. Suit yourself, sea crumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a cute name, though. Nils! 
I love your art. We're back, baby. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, long trip. Long trip for a sea crumb. Mm, yes. Be good to fabric. Right, so we can look at stuff. Some of this cargo smells weird. Well, this expired a decade ago. Yeah. Locked. Hmm. Somehow I expected him to snore. I thought he was snoring. Can we go out? Oh, we can go out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh! Oh, I forgot about you guys. Whoa! You! You know me. You've seen my downstairs mix-up. You're not real. I must be dreaming. The salt of the air, the sting of the breeze. You know these things. You know me. You look so real. Hurry! Wake up, Kai. You need to hurry. Wake up! Hmm, guess you were dreaming. Oh! Bad dreams, Seacrum! <laughs> no, I... Full of monsters and mutants, I bet. It's in the waters. Sure. What's that? I can't hear you over the song of the sea. <laughs> Nothing. So, looking forward to meeting your grandpops. Uh, what's he like? Not so lively these days. But way back when he was a... But way back when he was a fearsome man. Especially stern about a bit of harmless smuggling. Ta. Go out on deck now and you'll see her as we approach. Land ho! No.
Okay. I don't know what this is, but the little triangle. Oh, I think it skipped maybe? Oh shit, I skipped the whole thing. I didn't mean to. Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. I love this dude in the, in the, on the, on the right, God. Speaking is difficult. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, I didn't see you. I'm clumsy, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always tripping over myself. I'm just a big green lump, always getting in the way. You could say that again. <laughs> oh, so you're Kai, right? Yeah, you? Oh, I'm Tung. Uh, Claire's son. I think our moms were friends. <laughs> so you're Mori's grandson, right? Yeah. You should come to the bar later. People hang out there and... Ahem. Uh, Come on, back to work, my lad. <laughs> uh, sorry, but I've got to get on with this. Maury's in the square. She's expecting you. <gasps> Maury! Mm. Oh, I am sorry, dear. These arms are stronger than they look. I'm just so happy to meet you. I'm Maury, an old friend of your grandpa. Um, nice to meet you. But enough of me. Are you ready? Uh, I think so. I'll take you to him. Mm. Poor grandpops. Grandpa? Oh, I don't like the thumping. Oh! <coughs> it's still sticking away, don't you worry. I didn't mean to wake you. I thought you'd never make it in time. I came as quick as I could. Of course. For heaven's sake! I'm sorry! No, I'm sorry. <coughs> I've wanted to meet you for so long. Yet, here you are. And all I can do is lie here, useless. It's just really nice to meet you. Finally. I... Uh, I've always been bad at this kind of thing. Dora was the one who knew what to say. Grandma? Let us not talk of the past. But what a joy it is that you have come to help me. Let me know anything I can do, okay? You must tell me about yourself. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just me. Uh, okay at school, good at sports. Um, I'm captain of the swim team. I'm nor I normally like doing stuff on my own, so the team is good because I get to hang out with people. And And your mother? You are close to her? Yeah, I help her out a lot. It's cool that, like, she's so successful. I see. <laughs> and now I have the pleasure of your company. I bet you've heard a lot about this place. Mum mm. used to tell me bedtime stories about all the weird animals and stuff. Playing with the local wildlife was a favorite pastime of Gaia's. She was very young when she... 
<coughs> oh. Are you okay? Uh, can I get you something? Water or... I, I'm not having a good day. Forgive me. I need to rest. But please go and find my old friend Yoke in the archive. He has something for you. Can you do that? Mm. Anything else? I can write it in my journal. I use it to keep track of tasks and chores and stuff. It is very important. You are very important. Grandpa? Okay. Seems like it was used recently. Maybe Mori warmed something up for him. Mm, weird webs and things. Oh, weird herbs and things. I don't know why I made that into webs. Web and herb together, I guess. Weird herbs and things. For cooking? Mm. What about this doll, though? Looks so well worn, it probably only fits Grandpa now. I guess this is the bed Mori made up for me. Okay, let's go out into town. Chapter 1 Arrival. Oh, yeah. Stairs temporarily closed for repair. Do not use them, Dennis. Look at this cool tiny house. Oh yeah, the garden. Alright. Is there anything else I can look at? How do I get down? Oh yeah. Yes, oh these little guys. I forgot about them. I want to look at this. I like this place, but it does all look like it's about to fall apart. Mm. Back in a few minutes, Aelin. I'll talk to these guys in a sec. I want to go to the archives first. <laughs> Maury's Moorish. Moorish? I guess. Like Moorish, but with Maury. Nice pun, Maury. <laughs> oh, yeah, this dude. Wonder if Mom and Grandma ever sat here and looked out to the sea. Cool little garden. Looks like you get get to it through the back of the sh stir fry. God, my brain suddenly stopped functioning. These ruins feel more recent than the others. Hmm. I can't remember if we ever find out why the ruins are here. What happened in the past? Hello. Oh yeah, the Triceracows. Cute. I know the archives are back there, it's just my curiosity is taking me this way at the moment. Oh yeah, this area. What's here? I kind of like that forgotten half of it because it's kind of familiar so I kind of know where to go but also I've forgotten like, at least half of what's going on. Huh? All ranged in a circle. Yep. Your observation skills are better than mine. Alright, we'll go back to the archives.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is where Yoke works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you okay. Oh. Always important to wear your scuba goggles, just in case. I can just about make that out. There's some wildly retro stuff here. Good day to you, friendly mannequin. Is there anything else I can look at? No. Oh, the plane. Is this an actual monorail? Oh, monorail. Oh my god, wild. Monorail. Whenever I hear monorail, I always think of that one episode of The Simpsons. There's a cool thing in each tiny drawer. I want one of those so much. Right, you okay? Could it be? Kai? What is this place? Welcome to the archive! A fine collection of objects and writings are hidden herein. Including my writing. Some very important research, if I may say so myself. Uh, research? Certainly. Investigating history of here and hereabouts. For years it has been my aim to collect everything I can. Archives are vital places to record culture as well as facts. Sounds really important. I'm glad you think so. But to a purpose. I am supposed to give you this. Oh, the flora, that's right. The cover is cool. It's called embroidery, right? Indeed. The talented hands of Clara at work. The encyclopedia contains detailed information about the plant life hereabouts. The flora of mutation, starting from seeds. A collaboration between me and your grandfather. I was gonna say mother, but it doesn't say mother. Which you are both <coughs> quite proud of. Is there a special reason you're giving me this? I think... Let's just say your grandfather has a strong connection to everything that grows. I believe he wishes to cultivate your interest in these things. Do have a look inside. In the meantime... Thank you for paying our humble archive a visit, young lady. Feel free to have a look around. And ask me if there's anything you're curious about. I will. I already had a look around. Unfortunately. Um, let's open the journal. That's bright. Grandpa told me to find Yoke in the archive. Apparently he has something for me. This is a pretty cool old book. There's so much stuff in it. I wonder what all these little symbols mean. My mom, mom's old friend Claire is here somewhere. I should find her. Tongue said people hang out in the bar. That's right. Can we look at it? Can we look at the book? There you go. <laughs> no, no. I began this catalogue of the flora of mutation as a way to collect what money had told me. Coming from a scientific background, I had the urge to catalogue to systematically pin down and to find the new and wondrous flora of my new environment. But before long, I came to understand that the notion of order we like to consider as implicit in the scientific method is fallacy. Order is a social, not a natural construct. What right do I have to decide the proper name for a thing? I keep this record as a reminder of my journey, as I try to understand how to pass on the gifts given to me by mutation. Always question. Right, Algefern. Hmm. So I'm guessing, from what I remember, we're going to be using these all later. Raft spiders use the numbing effect of the spores to prey on larger insects. Astral Ragworth. There's so many. 
Blackpool Lily. That could be a cool band name. The Blackpool Lilies. Blue, <laughs> Blue Nanas? <laughs> I love it. What I love the most is just the simplicity of the art style, but it, it doesn't feel simple. If you know what I mean. Stick beetles love to feed on the roots, which can cause the plant to die. Don't get me started on beetle larvae eating roots. Bane in my life. The broad system of roots is a perfect place for fish to hide and to breed within. That reminds me of... Um, um, rice patties. Drakina. Oh, dragon. Widows beware. Seems to grow around the temple area east of the village. Elephant palm. Evanescence. Bring me back to life! Oh no, wake me up inside, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, many often use a little evanescent spore paste as a bridge to the spirit world. I bet they did. Fan Amanita. Mm, a giant tree fern. Bark can be broken off by inserting a small thin object such as a flint into the natural cracks. No mushroom. How many are there? How many are there? A sensitive plant which often requires compl complementary planting. Golden palm. Okay, cool. I want to go through all of them, but there's so many. Anyway. Um, we want to find Claire, right? Let's find Claire. Oh, what's this? Oh, I can pick stuff? <clears throat> ah, Fogelberry. I'm going to say it the Dutch way, okay? It says birdberry. I will say birdberry. Oh, can we just collect some shit now? Oh, oh yes. Picol Picolino seed. Red Thai plant seed. Oh, look at this bug here. <laughs> Is there not anything to pick here? Hmm, I'm surprised. Okay, let's go back then. Right. Back into town. Oh, I can grab these though. Silver laurel. Gelosa. Um. Anything else I can grab here? These fraying wires seem totally safe and not at all like a fire hazard. <laughs> Where's Claire? Oh, you Claire? This might be Claire. I have a vague recollection that's Claire. Yeah. Oh my goodness! You look just like her! Claire, right? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's it's Claire. Are you uh, okay? <laughs> I d I don't mean to. Gosh, I feel so silly. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not so good with crying. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's just... It was such a sweet, wonderful time. 
Seeing you walk up to me after all those years. <laughs> it suddenly brought it all back. <laughs> and now I can't stop. Please, just leave me for a bit. <laughs> Go and find Aileen in the square. She's lovely. She'll be on her break about now. <laughs> I'll be back later, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna talk. Can I talk to Tom? No, he's still busy. The square. Which square? This square? Or the square square? Oh, there you go. Oh, my days. Kai, honey, welcome. It's so lovely to see a fresh face around here. Welcome to one of the most beautiful places on earth. Well, I think so anyway. It's nice. <laughs> it's uh, totally nice. I suppose it must seem a little backward to you coming from the big city. But you just wait. The dawns and the wildlife. It's bliss. <laughs> Sorry, how rude. I'm Aileen. And this little one doesn't have a name yet. It's half me and half groovy, so who knows what to expect. The guy who sails the ferry? You don't sound impressed. He's not much of a um, listener, but he's very caring when you get, get past that. Oh, before I forget, you must go and see Claire. She was your mother's best friend and she's dying to meet you. Uh, mm, I think I might have upset her. Oh no, I bet she cried. She was so worried she would. It's nothing personal. Or actually, it's because she loved your mom so much. She'll be alright in a bit. You might not feel like it yet, but you're coming back to some family history here. In a good way, I hope. Hmm family history you say who did you say I thought I had to meet Aelin in the square is this not the square I guess this is not the square um can I, oh I can go down here maybe that's the square oh Ooh. let's pluck some more things Jalosa can I pluck from these I guess not Sorry, dude. I will talk to you eventually. This route is huge. I wonder how deep it all goes. Giant bug head. Not sure. Why not? Uh, sure, why not? Let's fly. Get out of my face. It's fly season again. This way to boat. <laughs> so, I still don't know which square you're talking about. Oh, Claire. I wonder who lives here. I don't know. Do you wanna... Oh, chicken? Grab it. Yay, water nettle seed. Lullaby. Funny name for a boat. Or Lullaby. Well, it's probably someone named Lola who has it. <sighs> Do I have a map somewhere? Where's the square? If I go down here, there's just nothing, right? I mean, it's just to the archives. Oh, no, that's this area. Yeah. So what's this way? That's the archive way. Yes. Oh, that goes down here and that goes up there, right. Kai, my love! You caught me in my natural habitat. I'm usually here cooking up something yummy. 
If I'm not tending to the garden where I grow all my veggies. It's a bit late for lunch right now, but come back if you fancy a bite tomorrow. Mm. Should I take anything for Grandpa? Oh no, don't you worry about that. I keep him well supplied. Oh, but I've got so much washing up after all that. A simple stir-fry tomorrow, I think. Have you had the chance to get to know our tongue yet? <laughs> yeah, I definitely bumped into him. He's a lonely boy. You'll be wonderful company for him. Oh, and Claire's dying to say hello. <laughs> She's in the harbor, crying her eyes out. Like a mini version of the tree Grandpa lives in. Looks like they need a bit of water. Why don't we give them a bit of water? Anyway, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Uh, it's really nice to dive back into this world. Little bits are coming back to me, but not a lot. Let me know how much you remember from the stream if you saw the stream. And uh, let me know what you think as always. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you when I see you. Mm.